Hello everyone, I am Ordendu De. You are watching Edis English Literature. Today, I am going to carry out a kind of detailed discussion and detailed analysis of the character of Saturn, of the dawnless carriage and inflexible power of the wheel as it has been expressed in Milton's Paradise Lost. It's an important as well as very vital study for a literary student because it takes us into the world of Milton, into the world of Renisha, into the world of such character and characterization in which we can find out a negative character projected in a positive mood. Why so? What's the vital point or the vital energy that makes Saturn so appealing to us? That kind of discussion and further notes on it will be our mode of discussion here. The entire procession of epic heroes ranging from those of Iliad, Odyssey, Beowulf, Ramayana, Mahabharata as well as the later day ones like Fairy Queen, Haprion, Divine Comedy and the Dynast are unlikely to reveal themselves to be a perforating and intriguing and paradoxical and contradictory as Saturn in Paradise Lost. Who is the Saturn? That angel turned demon. Now, the character of Saturn is of abiding interest because in him we can find out the traits of positive, the traits of negative, the traits of being a persona in whom there is a robust zeal of positive thoughts and the excessive sense of self pride and assertion now saturn is a kind of proud of contradictions now if we find out that it's not only because of his transformation from a seraphim to a villain from a magnificently glorious appearance to a smoke laden figure lent on so license even in hell he is capable of evoking the most contrary responses from we the readers and critics alike although to many he is the eclipse of evil the personification of sin the eternal heretic and desecration to others he is quite the opposite to the critic like Hazlitt. Saturn is not the principle of malignity or the abstract love of evil. To Sally, he is a moral being and to many others, he embodies the justifiable rebellion and forthrightness which all men should affect. It, 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 it in, inspires the great tale of Meghnath Bodh, written by Michael Madhusudan Dotto in Bengali. Truly, the Indrojit is as valiant as that of Saturn. However, Biblical Saturn is not such animated as that of Milton's. But why so? Why Milton has added such beautiful feathers to Saturn? Why he has animated Saturn in such a human spirit? To understand that, we have to dive deep into Milton's assertions of Renaissance figures. In fact, to Milton himself, Saturn appears to be a divided soul. Although he began to write 
the Christian epic with the specific desire to justify the ways of God to men, he seems to be justifying Satan instead. As Blake put it that Milton was a true poet and of the devil's party without knowing it. But such sort of criticism is to be rebuted because Milton's ideological plank on Saturn is not totally devil but a spirit of Saturn which can be applauded is being projected by Milton. Saturn may appear to be the villain of tragedy and yet he does not appear to be as much as an alloyed image as the redoubtably Macbeth. We all know how Macbeth the villainous character is over ambitious. Here in, in the tragedy with a wearing ambition Macbeth is all about the ideal of renaissance hero which makes him a a kind of a peril to other great Marlovian heroes. Now here Macbeth and Saturn can be parallel. There are some admirable qualities in both of them. The dauntless courage, an inflexible power of the will, a mired imagination, a glorious power of compassion and an infinite capacity of bearing torture both physical and psychological and finally have capacity for evoking emotions. No doubt we can say that Saturn is a villain but the villainy is of magnificent dimension, a heroic villain. Now why do you say such kind of heroic traits in villainy? Why should we applaud Saturn? Now, to keep on further studies on Saturn and if possible read Michael Madhusudan Dattos Meghnath both as comparative studies and you will find that much of the character of Saturn is in fact a negative trait but a few of the traits such as comradeship, such as being a champion of freedom, even though he is in devil's party, even though Saturn is in some negative forces which is very much dark opposed to God's light. But obviously it cannot be denied that Saturn's zeal Saturn's robust will, Saturn's indomitable spirit of finding the truth and ruling over his own universe is a kind of emotion that we entertain in our heart. In Michael Madhusudan Dattos, which has been quite a ideological copy from Milton's, is also making that point. That even though Indrajit had been in the devil's party, he has the will to be a great one, a will to be champion one, a will to be a free one. So his spirit, his emotions, his fighting is all for the right cause, but he is in the wrong domain. So to understand Saturn and to make a vivid judgment on it, I will further take you into the course of Paradise Lost text that I will deliver in my future course of lectures. If you are interested in Saturn's character, just take Paradise Lost, which has been written for a prolonged period part by part. And in those writings, the persona of Saturn is being parallel to that of persona of Milton's and how the text is so interesting, so abiding influence on later course of studies, later course of literature that we could 
never miss the text reading. Milton's Paradise Lost will make you a judge while getting through the kind of literature that has been either influenced by Milton's Paradise Lost or the kind of power or the kind of an assertion of the point of view of Frida. How it is so important at that period of history will also put you in into the lines, the blank hearts and the beauty of Paradise Lost in our later course of studies. So now it's the intro that might interest you into reading of Paradise Lost, particularly focusing the study of Saturn's character. Like, share, comment, obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Thank you.